Hi folks, this is all the fruit and I'm so excited. I managed to find once again the rare mango hybrid which I kind of discovered here in Borneo three years ago. And then out of all the hundreds of videos I made in Borneo, I lost this exact video. And now here I'm finding it again. Well, first let me tell you the story. Three years ago, I went to the Serikin border market and between the town of Bau and the town of Serikin, there was a small modern street market near the village of Kopit. And there I found this thing. Well, this, at first sight, it might look a little bit like this mango here. This is the Assam Bowang, or some call it Assam Bambagan, but here in this area, in the area of Kuching, they call it Assam Bowang. Well, and this looks similar, but it's a little bit green. And back then they also had another mango. It was, uh, I think it was a Sam Plum. Um, yeah, and I bought all three of them because I was sure that this is something special. At first the vendor back then told me, no, oh, no, this is uh, just normal Assam Bowang. Then I started asking the old people on the market and they all said, oh yeah, this is like new generation, this is mix, uh, this is uh, between both. And then I bought it and waited for a week till it got ripe and then I made a video with both parent species. Right now here I have only one of the parent species. This for sure is one parent of this mango, the Assam Bowang or Assam Bambagan, which looks a little bit like a potato, but it's actually the, the biggest and smelliest jungle mango ever. I don't have the other parent species here, but the important part is I got the hybrid. And now I'm at Satok Market in Kuching, and I see this thing on a stall. Here he is selling the normal Assam Bowang, and then hidden somewhere in the back, was this one fruit as if he didn't want to sell it it's, it also costs just half as much as this one is twice as expensive as this one and this was almost hidden so as if I don't know it's as if he thought that nobody would want it because it looks so strange and green well when those are unripe they don't really look green so I found this I looked at it a couple times and thought this looks familiar but it's only one Maybe it's just the fruit that fell into the water and that's why he's waiting for it to dry. That's why the color is different. But no. Nope. I looked at it. He's, he also said, yeah, this is just an Assam Bowang. But then I asked where he comes from. And he says, well, somewhere near Bao. They continued asking, where Bao? He said, yeah, between Bao and Serikin. And I asked, ah, this small modern street market between Bao and Serikin. He said, yes, exactly there. So this mango comes from exactly the same place where I found the same one, where I, where I found the other one three years ago. Maybe even from the same tree. Maybe there is just one tree with this type of mango in the world. It's a hybrid. And here, a lot of the villagers, they don't know a lot about grafting. So when they have a rare hybrid, they can sell it for years or decades. And then often it disappears because they just try to plant the seeds. It works well with this one, but with the hybrid, the seeds might be sterile or the result must, might be very different. I had this problem with rare durians. I told them, get a professional grafter and invest a couple hundred or a couple thousand ringgit into grafting a couple dozen durian trees or mango trees if you have a good hybrid. I hope they did it with some of the rare durians and mangoes. But this year, it's possible that there is just one tree in the whole wild world because Nowhere else in the world I found it except, well, last time in that village and this time a guy from that village brought it to Kuching. So let's try it. Right now I don't have the other parent species, but when I tried it three years ago, taste-wise this was between the Assam Plum and the Assam Bowang. Let's try the Assam Bowang first. It's ripe. By the way, this is quite a dangerous mango. Mangoes are pretty close relative of the, uh, relatives of the poison ivy. And actually, some of the jungle mangoes can burn you quite badly. This one can burn you quite badly, especially if you have some of the more, some of the more um, uh, dangerous varieties. Look at the thickness of the skin. This is a very small fruit here. The skin is like one and a half centimeters, but here you can see that it's actually less than half a centimeter. 
this one is thicker, like 7 millimeters, and those are very small fruits. In big fruits, the skin can be much thicker. And the sap of the skin, it works like poison ivy. Never try to, if you think the skin is so thick, and you want to get some of the flesh sticking to the skin and start chewing on the skin, don't do it, folks. Your lips will fall off and it will itch for weeks. People here have a lot of respect from the, of those mangoes. Actually, very often they cut them under water and wash the knife all the time and use gloves. So, let's try the normal Asambo Wang first. Mm -hmm. It is ripe, definitely. Taste-wise, it's not as bad as the bad varieties. It's quite good. Despite, oh, and there is a nice worm. <laughs> See the little worm? Well, it's quite good, despite not having this strong beef bouillon or tomato soup taste. It's mostly sweet and sour, with a, with a bit of machine oil taste, that's normal. But it's good. Yeah, not a bad one. This is a mango that comes in very different qualities from so bad nobody bothers to harvest it to really good and in different sizes this is quite a small one but it can reach the size of a watermelon three to five kilograms now this one despite being quite green oh it's really ripe it almost falls apart in my hand look at that so at least i will taste the taste in the perfect stage this one is much more ripe look 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 it's really falling apart Mm. Quite a rich taste. It's similar to Queenie. Mm. Queenie is another smelly mango hybrid. This is not so sweet. It's less sweet than the other one, despite being much more ripe. Also a lot less sour. Mm. The flavor is milder, but it has a lot more... A lot more... Um, Nuances than this one. This, yeah, definitely tastes like a, like an Asambo Wang. This tastes like an Asambo Wang in some other wild mango, maybe like the Assam Plum or some other one. Also, the local names are, are a big problem because um, every tribe has a different name. So this seems to be a hybrid between Mangifera, what was it? Uh, Mangifera... I already forgot the names. Three years not in Borneo and I forgot the names. Mm, okay. Well, the, the other the, the other parent should be Mangifera Futida. I forgot the name of this one. I'm so embarrassed. But good, yeah. Mm, mm. Uh-oh. There's a small piece of the skin here. It's a good hybrid, which definitely has a mix of them. Typical flavors of both parents. I'm so glad I found this one, folks. This was... I was never so sad about losing a fruit video like this one because it's a hybrid. Maybe it grows only in one tree in the whole wide world. And now, I really plan to go to this village in three days and ask around for this speci special mango. And now I'm finding here in the middle of the city of Kuching. So, folks, this was maybe the rarest mango in the world a rare hybrid stink mango from Borneo. Stay tuned for a lot more fruit videos from the beautiful and super diverse Satok market in Kuching. And of course, don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe.